Camtech Valier is a multidisciplinary centralized training center under Ministry of Railways. This center develops technical publications, manuals on various railway assets and provides training through seminars and webinars, thereby assisting maintenance team in improving the reliability and efficiency of the system. This video is related to the maintenance and testing of control and relay panel and remote terminal unit RTU under the series of electrical assets maintenance in 132 kV to 27 kV conventional railway traction substation. The control and relay panels provide the housing for control and protective relays, switches, indicators, meters, etc. necessary for efficient control and protection of substation equipment and feeders. Remote Terminal Unit RTU provides the interface between substation and the traction power controller through a communication channel. This enables traction power controller to monitor and control the traction power supply remotely. Maintenance Schedules The periodic maintenance of the control and relay panel is carried out in monthly, half-yearly, annually. Monthly Schedule in the monthly schedule perform activities like cleaning of accumulated dust, check the indicating and recording instruments, check and clean the outer terminals of relays, check the tightness of cable connections, terminal connections, check the fuses for overheating, earthing connections and also check the door and hinges for its intactness. Half Yearly Schedule in the half-yearly schedule perform the activities like checking of the door gasket if found damaged, replace the gaskets, etc. in addition to monthly schedule activities. Annually Schedule In an annually schedule performs activities like check the relay operation, do the relay testing, check contacts, push buttons and switches, check the voltage between positive to earth and negative to earth, etc. in addition to half-yearly and monthly schedule activities. Safety Precautions Before Maintenance Before working near the unit, isolate all the voltage and current supplying it to prevent any chance of an electric shock. There are many activities that have to be performed during maintenance. Cleaning of panel, terminal board, push buttons, switches, contacts and relays terminals. Checking the functioning of indicating and recording instruments. Checking of interconnections and earthing connections and their tightness. Check doors and hinges for intactness and gaskets. Check and plug the holes to avoid entry of moisture and insects. Testing As per the maintenance schedule, these tests shall be carried out at regular intervals mentioned in this table. Testing of Relays Secondary Injection Test It is very important to check the performance and characteristics of protective relays. This test is carried out by a single-phase relay test kit. Steps for Testing First, Connect the current or voltage channels to the terminals of CT and PT or CT's secondary on TB of relay under test. Connect the timing terminals of relay under test to the binary input of test kit. Make a connection of earth terminal of test kit to the equipment earthing. Connect the test kit to the laptop installed with compatible software for testing by Ethernet connectivity. Connect the single phase 230 volt power supply to the test kit and on the power switch. On the laptop start the software and choose the test to be performed on the relay and fill the testing details. Finally, by pressing the test start button testing begins and after completion of test, the results displayed on the screen. This testing data may be recorded for checking the performance and characteristic of relays. If the results are beyond the permissible limits, recalibrate the relay or if defective, replace the relay. Safety Precautions Before Testing For the safety of equipment and personnel, ensure that the power supply is kept off by the opening circuit breaker and isolation to be done by opening isolators and then provide discharge rods at both ends of CT under testing. 
after this, open the connections of both HV terminals of CT. The use of personal protective equipment for safety such as electrical grade shoes, helmets, etc. While performing the tests following precautions shall be taken care. Use only certified leads without any joint for the test. Carry out this test in a clean and dry atmosphere. Primary Injection Test – Current Injection Method by Loading CT This test ensures the correct installation and operation of the whole protection scheme. The primary injection test involves secondary winding, relay calls, trip and alarm circuits, and all intervening wiring circuits. Primary injection tests are always carried out after secondary injection tests. This test is carried out usually with a portable injection transformer. Steps for testing To conduct this test, connect the clamp meter in the secondary winding lead of CT. Then connect primary leads of testing arrangement to both primary terminals of CT by cable, which is capable to carry required current to operate the protection system, and connect the clamp meter. Now connect the single phase to 30 voltage AC supply to the testing arrangement through Variac to get the required current for testing. After that, check all the connections and switch on the single phase AC supply to testing arrangement. Now inject the current in the primary, increase gradually up to setting current of protection scheme and check on control and relay panel whether the protection scheme is operated or not. If protection scheme operates as per setting current of relay, then the relay is working fine otherwise check the issues. Check the operation of all the relays using this method. DC Leakage Voltage Measurement This measurement provides the information about DC leakage. The DC leakage may occur due to damage of cable insulation and cutting of cables. DC leakage causes unbalanced voltage and failure of DC supply. Failure of DC supply to C and R panel or breaker means breakers and relays will not operate if fault occurs. Steps for testing Here we are measuring the DC voltage between positive DC supply and negative DC supply to earthing in a control and relay panel. First, select the voltage scale in the multimeter. Connect the voltage terminal of the multimeter to one terminal of the positive DC supply terminal and connect the common terminal of the multimeter to earthing terminal of panel. Finally, multimeter shows the magnitude of DC supply in control and relay panel. Measure the voltage between negative DC supply and earthing by the same procedure and record the multimeter result of DC voltage magnitude that is, voltage of positive DC supply to earthing and negative DC supply to earthing. Now, if both voltage in magnitude are zero then there is no DC leakage. But if both voltage in magnitude shows some value other than zero, then it means cable or leads of DC supply is damaged. So track the location of DC leakage and rectify the issue.